Hi, uh, today I received a split phase 3000 watt inverter that I am going to review and test out. It came in from Amazon, I purchased it from Amazon and I wanted to see how it works, if it can power my house. So we're going to uh, plug it into my 24 volt battery and then we're going to plug the split phase into my, um, my generator outlet, my generator inlet that pretty much powers my whole panel and I'll show you here this is the split phase inverter um, the brand name is WZRELB I'm not sure how you pronounce that but it is 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter pretty much the way it works looks like it's 120 here 120 here so you have the two phase which combines a 240 volt then you have the different which you can plug directly into it. Um, this is like a screw type, screw type um, clamp in there. And then you have, looks like this is like an international plug, but it also has the USA type plug for it. This pretty much puts it all in 3000 watt, 240 volt. Unlike these, these are 120 each, and then you combine these to get 240. So this will be the battery here that I will be using. This is actually my solar inverter battery, which I took out just to do this test. Um, it's a lithium iron phosphate battery. These are Cal B battery. They're about 200 amp hour each, which is 24 volt, 200 amp hour. But I don't think I'm getting 200 amp hour because these batteries are pretty pretty it's got some age about three four years old so i think they're probably 150 160 amp hour but we're going to plug that in into the inverter and then we're going to see if it powers my house and how i'm powering my house is this cable this cord will plug into each of the 120 plug we'll plug into each of these right here and then it comes out as 30 amp four prong plug and the four prong plug will plug into here which converts it to a 50 amp because my generator inlet is a 50 amp plug this will be the 50 amp plug that you will plug in here and this end goes into my inlet i will show you all this here how it's all hooked up let's first hook up the inverter to the 24 volt and have it power up Oh, also, this is what it comes with. It comes with these two cables. Um, looks like there are eight uh, gauge wires, I believe. And then you have a booklet here. Okay, now I have it hooked up to my battery, which is a 24 volt. I'm using a one aux cable. This is the negative. This is the positive. And on a real setup, you would want to put a fuse on this line. Right now, I have it directly without the fuse, um, just for testing purpose. But in a real setup, you would put a fuse right here in between that this uh, positive cable. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Well, it looks like it's already on. Let me flip it back off. Turn it back on. That's the on and off switch. You hear a beep powering up you can also hear the fan coming on looks like um, my battery's reading 26.3 volt it's 88 percent full you can see it on the left side here and then in the center it's dc to ac touch that screen come back on dc to ac and then you have one leg that's eight that's 120 and the second leg is 120 which combines a 240 60 hertz which is uh, USA standard let's go ahead and let's get a reading off of these right here this one right here is apparently supposed to be labeled this is lake one hot one neutral lake two which is hot two and then ground not sure why it's not labeled here but on the picture online it actually is, it's labeled but not on this for some reason all right let's um, plug in a vote meter let's test it Plug this in. Oh, 
120 volt. All right. Let's see the other one. 120 volt. And now we'll do the hot and hot. So one, one hot here and one hot here. And we get 240 volts. Let's test this connector right here. Now well, let me tell you again, um, this is hot one, neutral, hot two, and ground. So we'll do the neutral and the hot. And then 20 volt. Then we'll do the other neutral and hot. 120 volt also. And then we do the both hot. Two hundred and forty volt. Perfect. So on the inside of this uh, inverter, these are connected using fourteen gauge wire, and this is using twelve gauge. So it's probably best if you want to hook up. The, uh, the full 3000 watt or so, uh, or a lot more amp, it's probably best to use these right here. But today's testing, I'll be using these right here. So these are here only 14 gauge wire. They're pretty much hooked up to the same post inside the inverter. They just have two or three cables going to the same post. So pretty much these are in parallel. I have it hooked up to my generator inlet. So this cable goes, all the way over here so the cables go all the way over here into my adapter into my uh, split face a cable here that splits into two that goes into the 240 30 amp and a 30 amp into a 50 amp right now it's plugged in but it says zero zero amp right now so let's go ahead and turn on my generator I mean turn on my uh, generator breaker so I have it set up temporarily until I get a panel to switch to uh, interlocking so we're gonna go ahead and turn on my main breaker so it won't go out to the grid and then we're going to turn on the generator pretty much activates this right here we'll give it about 10 seconds all right and now it should be getting power from my battery from this inverter You can see right there, it shows uh, one leg is getting 13 amp and the other leg is 3 amp. And my battery is down to 76%. So it looks like it's powering my house. So let's go check the inside of the house. My garage light came on. That's good. Kitchen light came on. My dining room light came on. Let's check my freezer. Freezer is working. Fridge is working. See my TV come on. TV came on. All right, let's go check to see how much amp is pulling with some of the stuff running. Looks like some of the power has settled down. It just only uh, kicks up when it starts up, whatever is inside the house, part of my fridge. But once everything is settled down, I'm pulling 2 amp and about 4.8 amp. So that's about close to 600 watt on that 4.5 amp. And that's probably 300 watt, close to 300 watt. That's pulling. 
So my house is not using a whole lot of power right now um, with all the lights turned on and the TV turned on. So we're looking at probably eight, 900 watt right now. But this thing is 3000 watt. So that pretty much concludes my testing so far. So that's pretty much it. Um, it looks like it's part of my house, perfectly fine. Um, it's only pulling about under a thousand watt. It's uh, rated at 3000 watt. I don't think it's having any problem hitting 3000 watt. I don't think I have anything that's actually up to 3000 watt right now. Uh, I might could run some hair dryer or something, but I'd probably put it at 3000 watt. Um, the only thing that it might not run is, well, it wouldn't run is my AC. Um, the initial start kicks up pretty high, so it wouldn't be able to start my AC unit. I know that for sure. But in this kind of backup, I wouldn't run my AC, my house AC anyway. I'll just run the essential stuff in the house. So that's pretty much it. Thank you.